Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Engineering Statics lecture video. I hope you guys are all doing well and are ready to learn, so let's get started. The last thing that we're going to talk about is center of mass, and this one's actually not too bad at all, because all we're going to do is take the same formulas that we had for center of gravity, and we are going to rearrange them using the relationship between weight and gravity, weight, gravity, and mass. So we know that weight is equal to mass times gravity, and our specific gravity gamma is equal to rho times gravity, or density times gravity. So if we went to our center of gravity equation, y bar, and we were to replace the weight terms with m times g, we get the following. And we know that typically, <laughs> I, I want to say typically, because you never know what they're going to hit you with in exams, gravity is constant, so I can take gravity out, and then we see that gravity simply cancels. So y bar is equal to the summation of mi times y, y squiggle i, over the summation of mi, and this will lead us to our discrete formulas. Again, they all look the exact same, and then we can also switch it to a calculus format by utilizing that density relationship where rho is equal to gamma divided by g, which is the density of the body. But here's kind of the fun fact. If gravity is constant, which again, typically is, but I don't, I don't want to say all the time because you never know what they're going to do in exams. If gravity is constant, the center of gravity and the center of mass are actually the exact same. So that's going to be a little fun one. Typically what they'll do is they'll give you enough information to solve for the center of gravity, center of gravity, and then they'll ask you, what is the center of mass? And then everyone will go, well, I don't know the density. How can I know the center of mass? Well, if gravity is constant, you can solve for the center of gravity and then just say, hey, gravity is constant. Therefore, these two are actually the same. And this concept is going to be very important in our next video. The meat of this topic isn't this video. It's actually next video. Next video, we are discussing something called centroids. And centroids are basically a way of determining these locations in our shape without mass, without density, without gravity, nothing. So yeah, that's it for this video. I want to thank you guys so much for listening. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video.